Hey guys, it's Heather with Heather's Halls. So I just thought I'd pop in before we begin our dive today. I am excited. I'm feeling really lucky today. I feel like we're going to find some awesome stuff. Um, I'm sitting on my porch right now with my boys. Here, I'll show you. Champ. Hi, buddy. We are just sitting outside. Winston. Winnie. Yeah, he is more uh, curious about what is going on over there. But I'll show you our pool opened up here. And they just got new chairs and new everything. But we're only going to be able to enjoy it for a few months because we are moving uh, in July. Um, yep, yeah, so we're going to enjoy that for a couple months before we head out. But... Um, yep, yeah, so I just wanted to stop in and say hello. Um, I'm trying to show face more because um, now that I've been reflecting and looking back on some of my videos, I'm like, oh, Heather, you're not showing your face and people probably are like, who is this person behind the screen? So I am going to show face more and pop in and say hello more. And um, yeah, so it is Mother's Day weekend, and I want to give a happy Mother's Day to all of the moms out there. And if you aren't a mom, but you have a fur baby, you're a mom. <laughs> you're a fur baby mom. My best friend, um, Jolyn, she doesn't have any children, and uh, but she has pets. So every Mother's Day, I always wish her happy Mother's Day because she is a mama to her fur babies, as, as I am, um, to my Champy and my Winnie. Um, yes, yeah, so... Reminder, we are having our live auction on Mother's Day. I did ask a lot of you and you guys said that you would like to have one or that you would join. So that will be this Sunday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope that you can join us. Um, again, it's a perfect time. It, hopefully it'll be at the end of your day and you'll be settling in for the evening. I think I'm gonna have like seven or eight boxes again. We will have another pet box and we're also gonna have some fun individual items up for bid. Um, so make sure that your notification bell is on. Um, if your Wi-Fi is slow, set an alarm and it will be here on YouTube for those that are new. Um, we do live auctions here on YouTube. And again, you don't wanna miss it. And if you're curious about how the live auctions are, you can check out some of my past videos of our live auctions and see all the different goodies that we have um, up for bid in the past. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get out and enjoy this day and um, enjoy the premiere here. And thank you so much for being a supporter of my channel. And if you're new, hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And let's get started with this dive. I'm super excited. Look how cute this display is but these come out and they are so cute these could be used as a well, actually let me see you know what I might take some of these and I left my gloves in my um in my coat at home so Stop by Dollar Tree here, which I will be passing in a minute. Alright. Yeah, and you know, these would be cute drawer liners. You know? They would be adorable. So I'm going to take these. Oh, I just love cuteness. Let's see here. Because I could use some of these. Man, I wish that I had room for this. But I don't. But this is cute. So we'll take this. Okay, so I'm here. Pull this out of the pet store, a little cat house toy. How cute is that? It's all crinkly. But I just found this chest in here, and I have no idea what this is. This is hilarious. It looks like it's in Russian. 
This has to be worth something. Almost looks like a lie detector test. <sighs> that is so cool. We're totally gonna get that checked. I'm getting to press film, but uh, I just found one of these carts. Looks like it needs a new wheel or something there, but we'll see. Oh, real quick, you guys. I've been to three different Pet Smarts, and all of them have been dumping these. Like, hundreds of bags of them. And because it's been hot here and in the sun, I didn't take them, but now that I'm seeing this again, I'm wondering if there was a recall on these because it's to see that many stores throwing this many out. So if you guys find any, make sure you definitely check it before you, uh, you know, take them. Is this in there? Oh, darn it, not in there. Darn it, darn it. All right, we're going to a new part of town. more of those dog foods that every pet smart has been throwing away so it must have been a recall but this is a cute little find oh my goodness holy moly Heavy. 
shouldn't slide down on me now. <laughs> this is so heavy. I'm getting so heavy. Jim. It's just going to be easier to put it in the back of my truck. So I have a dumpster where I live. So. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It's been raining for 24 hours. Oh, I dropped my darn thing. Let me get my other pokey. All right, I peeked something. doesn't fall on my head. Dang, I hate when they do that. I tip it upside down. Take this box. Is this? Is this all empty though? I 
know what? Hold on a minute here. Hold on a minute. I'm grab my little step stool. go home and look through the rest of it guys hello guys how's everybody doing today um, before we get started just want to say hello to um, any of you that are new welcome to the channel and make sure you hit that subscribe and notification bell that notification bell is really important because it will notify you right when I upload videos and it'll alert you when we go live with our live auctions which are Sundays at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time um, this Sunday being Mother's Day, we're going to have a real fun get together and um, hopefully you can join us. There's going to be tons of boxes and a lot of individual items, so stay tuned for that. But before we begin, uh, I forgot to show you guys these two items um, from that huge Easter haul. Oh, look who's here. <laughs> Um, from the big Easter haul Michael's grab bags video, which was the last video. If you didn't see it, go and check those out. But look at how pretty this is. Um, it's showing that this was originally $49.99, but it was part of their $5 grab bag. Um, so adorable. I really like it. I thought the little eggs and stuff were really cute. And then check this out. I like that too. It's uh, but I'm sure this this will probably end up in our live auction box. That's why if you see things you guys like, make sure to tune in on Sundays because most likely uh, a lot of these items you can try bidding on. Um, you saw that huge display stand, and my daughter was so excited because she was telling me about those squishy toys or whatever stuffed animals. Um, and I just love the cupcakes, but these are like really nice and thick and durable. And I just thought how fun we can use these for drawer liners. Um, my daughter's got a really um, awesome makeup stand and a bunch of drawers. So I'm like, we could line them with these. Um, yeah, so we're going to, those are going to go to some good use. Here was the stuff I found from Five Below, this tablet clamp stand. And... Um, I grabbed these. They were sealed. Uh, Michaela likes these, and I didn't know until she told me a couple weeks ago with someone I saw it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to grab them. And so, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I, I've tried these before, and I think it was more of the texture that I didn't like at all. Um, but Michaela likes them. Some wireless earbuds. I haven't checked yet. I'm going to make sure these work. I'm going to make sure this is all functioning properly because uh, those will be available on Sunday um, and these little water aqua shoes the little tag part was fraying but that can be cut off because it's not attached really to anything that would make the shoe fray and then they can be donated um, and then I found this little cat hut bed and I'm noticing they just did slight cuts there but it's still can be used um, I found one of these a while back without the bed um this one had the bed so yeah so that was fun some fun stuff to start off the the video haul so here is everything from the burlington grab bag i was so excited um there was two of these joe boxer size medium sports bras and then um neef neff um my daughter has some um, beanie hats 
back when these were really popular a while ago. Um, I haven't showed her this yet, but I'm sure she's going to want it. But it was a cute little face mask. Then I found two other face masks. Three bags of this healthy mix, macadamia, berry, and raisin nut medley. Um, so like 9.5 ounce bags. And then check out all these bras. Uh, this one right here, this was like a 30, I don't know if I forgot what it was, 38B or something like that. And then these three, these three were full figure um, 40D and the, this one was I think 40 double D. But yeah, like look how pretty. So there was the pink one and the black one and those are so pretty so yeah some fun fun stuff there and no damage this cute little thing that clips in the hair for little kids oh winston i let him out go play outside and then he just has to bark at the dogs walking by and uh the rabbits <laughs> um a big bag of gummies here um had those before. Michaela really liked those. And then I found this. This was a 1X. It said, God's got this. And when you flip it over, look how pretty that is. With God, all things are possible. So, yeah, very nice. And then I found a bunch of these actually at Bed Bath and Beyond. I guess this is what the employees wear. Um, they threw a bunch of these away. So I grabbed them. Uh, these little pajama shorts. Very cute. And then lastly was um, the shapewear bodysuit. I think it said it was a 1X. Um, but yeah, so nice, nice, not too bad, not too shabby. And oh, actually, and then I found a couple of these. And these are really nice. You know, when you're having eating outside, you can cover the plates of food up. Uh, this, this fell off the top little part, but that can be covered with a little piece of tape and they can still be used. So yeah, that was exciting because I haven't had a Burlington score in quite some time. And um, one day I was out and about and I had stopped by a GameStop that was closing and I saw them dumping stuff. So I went and peeked and I was able to snag a few things here. Some of these little Star Wars Legos. Um, and a ton of these little keychains. I have no idea what this is about. You can let me know down in the comments if any of you know, but there is a ton of them here. So those were really cute. Um, these will all end up getting donated. Um, I will probably throw a couple in the live auction box, but all of the rest of these will, will I'm starting a new box for Children's Hospital since I just dropped off everything the other day. And oh, you want to check it out, buddy? You're just the sweetest little guy. You know that? You're just the sweetest. He is just the sweetest guy. <laughs> and of course, he knows I'm filming. And the moment I start filming, he comes over and has to give me kisses. <laughs> so, and then the, I don't know what these were, but um, some little thingy there. Um, then a bunch of these little things, they look like this when you open them up. Again, I don't know anything about these games or what this is, but I did find um, one here. Let's see. It's just the Woody from the Disney um, Toy Story. And the last thing I found out of the GameStop, they threw away this Beauty and the Beast little character. And I'm, I'm going to look this one up because, you know, I found a couple of these little characters. I don't remember what company it was. Um, I got them in the Barnes and Nobles box and I ended up looking up online and they were uh, a collector where people were searching for this thing. And it was like $50 on eBay. And I was like, wait, what? So that was kind of cool. Um, and then I did find this at World Market one day. It's a cute little light up baton. I think it was from World Mark. Yeah, it was from World Market. A little Easter baton. Uh, so that was cute. Okay, this is the rest of everything. Uh, well, first, forgot to show you this. This was in that Burlington grab bag. Um, check that out, Coleman. And it's a dog. Uh, here, let me turn it around. A little dog carrier. 
How nice is that by Coleman? And it was like 20, 20 something dollars. It says backpack pet carrier. Uh, but yeah, it's uh it's very nice quality, I have to say. So that was a a nice find for sure. Here was my fun little world market. Um, I did bring this little bag in. I have so many bags and the Blessings Box people, they finally actually responded today. Um, she just texted me and she's having her daughter come by to pick it up, um, everything up tomorrow. And some of you have left a comment about if I could film the Blessings Box. Um, the only problem is, and sorry if I'm repeating myself to those of you that already know, our, we only have a couple blessings box in Colorado and the one that's closest to me is probably over 20 minutes away um, and they're managed by a, a group of people so if I drove all the way out there and it's filled I'm not going to have anywhere to put anything so um, it's actually works out well because these women and men that run it they manage it um, so they have people assigned to the blessings box every day and then they manage it and fill it um, and it's very organized and I like it so with that said they do porch pickups and um, so they come to my house every so many weeks and uh, pick everything up so and because I have stuff that's like such big bags like this they have been putting um, bags together and giving them to people in need that they know um, and just organizing a big bag of stuff of different, you know, selection just because I give them a lot of stuff. So with that said, um, these are little mint slice little cookies. And let me tell you about these snowballs put on a happy face. That is true because <laughs> these are so delicious. They, when they say a marshmallow inside, it's a coconut covered marshmallows. It's not a normal marshmallow. It's that marshmallow fluff. These are so good. Oh my gosh, Michaela and I tried one. They're really sweet. But if you like marshmallow fluff, you're going to love these things. And again, this is all from World Market. So they have all that fun stuff from all over the world. So I'm not sure where these are from, but super, super delicious. Um, a bunch of chips here. This Coney Island, they have really good popcorn, uh, sea salt and vinegar. And then there was some of this la lark larksa or laksa curry um, soup there and a thing of tea, a box of tea there. So not a bad week, you guys, not a bad week. But I'm going to show you guys something right now that I found and I have no idea what it is. So I'm going to show it to you up and close. And I would love if someone could tell me in the comments what this is because I've never seen it before. Okay, so here is the mystery uh, box here. I have no idea, but let me just set this here for a moment. Maybe you guys can look at this and that. So yeah, no idea, but all this little, and again, it looks like it's in Russian. Um, so if anyone can tell me what this is, but let me tell you, this smells like it's from the 1800s. It does not smell like it comes from the 19th century, but um, I don't know what any of this stuff is. It had this little weird thing, um, but look at all this stuff. And these old headphones, look at how crazy. Um, and then there was this thing here. Then like this holder, uh, it's because in one of the pictures it showed that that was used to hold something. So I, I have no idea, you guys. This could be a lie detector test. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if anyone knows what this is and can tell me in the comments, uh, down below, I would really appreciate it. So I can look this up on eBay or something and see, uh, if anyone needs this, wants this, um, I'm very, very curious. And real quick, as you see, I had another amazing Ulta haul, and you know what that means. That means you're gonna find this product in the live auction boxes on Sunday because I have too much. <laughs> I have enough shampoo and conditioners to last me uh, 
for the next couple years. Um, but here was a big thing of conditioner, um, Paul Mitchell shampoo, uh, blonde recharge shampoo, the purple shampoo for blonde hair. And they always throw these. They're brand new. They're filled. They get that leakage and it's the plastic. So it's stuck in there. Um, but this is a 6.76 fluid ounce and I love putting it's a foam. I love putting it on when I need a quick little tan. Um, and then there was a little mini like travel bottle one too. I use this uh, every day. I love this. Um, it's a toning solution. Um, I have this exact one. So yeah, pretty nice. And you know, that stuff lasts forever. Um, a Clinique, that BB cream. And I love this company, the Juice Beauty. I use this a lot. Um, the anti-wrinkle, this is the eye treatment. And I don't have this one. But anyways, yeah, I love those products. Um, one of these little Bye Bye Under Concealer Cream, it just had the missing thing on there, but I couldn't find it. I tried hard to find it, and this one too, I couldn't find the. But I like this company, and it's a retinol a line soothing eye cream. And this is eyeliner. It's um, the Flash Cat Eye. So that by L'Oreal. Um, by It, it's a green gel liner. I like putting green eyeliner sometimes on my eyes because my eyes are green. Um, and then I found all these morph brushes. So I found that one. These all have, these are all morph, as you can see. They had the little plastic seal on them, but I took it off so I could wash all of them. So I washed them all and cleaned them all up. Um, Anastasia lipstick. And you guys, Estee Lauder, uh, I can only imagine how much this is. Um, this even has a SPF 45 uh, moisturizing makeup. So your foundation and moisturizer and SPF all in one. Um, SDLR, you know, is very expensive and it feels completely filled brand new. So I, I'm going to look that up. I'm curious on how much those sell for. Um, found two of these, these Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I like doing those different face mask things. And by Morph, let me see if I can get it open here. Let's try. Got to go get my nails done and have them cut these suckers down. Um, so as you can see, they try and do their little damage to it. So, um, but love this company. And this will definitely be in the live auction this Sunday. Um, and then I found a bunch of these, uh, the foot peels. And you guys, these foot peels are, if you have never done one, you have to try one. And you know where they have them for really cheap is at Walmart. Walmart, you can find them. And um, they're like $2.50 or something like that. They go really quick. So when you find them, just pick up a few of them so you have them. But you soak your foot for like 15 minutes to get it all nice and soft. And then you put on these little booties. And you wear it for like 90 minutes. And here's the secret. Every day, because they won't start peeling until a week. So don't get discouraged or anything. You'll see in exactly a week, your foot will slowly start peeling the skin. Um, but the key is, is to soak your foot every day, um, either in the shower or when you take a bath, um, to keep re-loosening up your skin. And trust me, you're, when your foot peels, it's almost like a baby's foot. That is how soft it is. It's really fun and it's awesome, especially if you have really dry feet. Definitely go and try and find yourself um, some. And again, you don't need to spend big bucks. You can get it right at Walmart for like $2.50. All right, guys. Well, wow, that was a huge, huge haul there. We had so uh, much stuff and it was so much fun. And actually, I still have a lot of footage to show you. Um, but this will be the last video for this week. And then we'll have our Sunday live auction at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I will see you guys there. Have a great rest of your week, guys.